I'm Mandy Hancock here in Galveston, Texas, and I've been set up by my old partner, Rick Cotta. Nobody believes me. He wanted to steal all of the wonderful cream cheese recipes for himself, so he told the sheriff that I stole a delivery truck filled with delicious Philadelphia cream cheese, and that's just not true. He just doesn't like it that I've mended my ways and become a real woman of Philadelphia. He wants to keep all the delicious recipes for himself. And all I want to do now is share delicious appetizer, entree, side dish, and dessert recipes with all of you real women of Philadelphia. I know I've been framed. How am I going to get out of this? They even got my horse. Ladies, ladies, Paula, what am I going to do? I've got to get out of here in time for entree week. Oh goodness, there's a letter on the floor of my cell. I wonder what it says. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's from my old outlaw partner, Rick Cotta. Dear outlaw Mandy Hancock, yes, it was me that framed you. I knew it, ladies. I have the truckload of Philly, and in exchange for your freedom, I want all of your delicious Philly cream cheese recipes especially your recipe for outlaw grits. Outlaw grits, how did he know about that? I was developing that recipe when I became a real woman of Philadelphia. He should have never known about that. That's not meant for outlaws. That's meant to be shared among all the real women of Philadelphia. I wonder how he knew about that. I'm so excited to try my new recipe for outlaw grits. This is going to be great. This will get me rid of my old outlaw partner, Rick Cotta, forever. I can share this recipe with the real woman of Philadelphia, and he will never know that I came up with it. I've started by doing my grits. I have half a cup of grits that I boiled in two cups of chicken broth. Mm, that makes them extra, extra yummy. And I've also fried up three pieces of bacon that I'm going to put into my outlaw grits. And in the same pan that I fried the bacon in, I have red pepper, onion, and corn that I'm going to saute that's going to go in the grits. So to the grits, I'm going to add cheddar cheese, along with a dash of cayenne pepper for that extra outlaw kick. I'm also adding a tablespoon of butter. I'm adding four ounces of delicious Philadelphia cream cheese that I'll share with all these beautiful, real women of Philadelphia. And my old outlaw partner, Rick Cotta, will never know about this delicious recipe. Once I stir all of these beautiful ingredients around, I'll also add two ounces of chilies. These are canned chilies. You can, I can also use four ounces for a little extra heat and a little bit more of an outlaw kick, but today I'm just going to use two ounces of those chopped canned green chilies. Mm, this is looking good already. Of course, a side dish wouldn't be a side dish without bacon, so I'm also crumbling in three pieces of crispy, delicious bacon. Oh, Oliver, you have to promise not to tell Rick Cotter Rick that I'm making this delicious act, or delicious side dish, Outlaw Grits. I'll give you some if you'll keep it a secret. We'll stir that bacon around. Oh, this looks great already. I'm just putting the finishing touches on my corn, red pepper, and onion saute to go into my outlaw grits. 
This gives the grip a little something extra special. Rick Cotta will never know what hit him, and I'll be rid of him forever, and I can be a good, real woman of Philadelphia instead of outlaw Mandy Hancock. So I'll just add the mixture right into my grits. And incorporate everything nicely. The next thing I'm going to do is pop this mixture into the oven. Today I'm going to be serving the outlaw grits in individual ramekins. But I could also just bake the grits in a large casserole. Or another variation that I'm going to show today is serving it in a red pepper. And I have half of a hollowed out red pepper here that I've roasted in the oven for about two minutes just to get it a little soft. So I'll go ahead and start spooning this grits mixture into the individual. Now that I have my outlaw grits in their individual servings, I've given the option of ramekins and half a red bell pepper. I'll just garnish the tops with a bit more cheddar cheese. Beautiful. Can never have too much cheese, am I right ladies? We've got cheddar cheese on the inside, Philadelphia cream cheese all over the inside. This recipe will surely get me away from my old outlaw ways and away from Rick Hire Rick forever. So I'll just put these in the oven for about five minutes until the cheese is melted. I've taken them out of the oven. They were in about five minutes. I have some in some ramekins for some individual servings. And then also I have a more festive presentation in a half a red pepper. So it's a really versatile dish that you could also do in a casserole dish if you just wanted to do a family style side dish. Beautiful. And there we have it. Outlaw grits. Fit for an outlaw, but meant for a real woman of Philadelphia. Yes, my spy was there. Oh no, we had a spy there! But he was too stupid to write down the ingredients. So for an exchange for your recipe for Outlaw Grits and all of your delicious Philadelphia cream cheese recipes, I will bust you out of jail. I can't do this, ladies. I just cannot let my old Outlaw partner, Rick Cotta, have all of our delicious Philadelphia cream cheese recipes. Those are meant to be shared among Paula Dean and all the real women of Philadelphia. What are we going to do? How am I going to get out of this? Mac, Mac, what are we going to do? What are we going to do, Mac? We've got the real women. Oh, Mac! Mac, what are we going to Oh, Mac! Oh, you got the door open, buddy! Oh, pal! Buddy, you got the door open! And you got the handcuff key! You're the best cooking partner ever! Oh, goodness. Mac, we're going to do this. We're going to defeat Rick and Cotta, and we're going to go get those recipes for the real women. Crime scene take. You're not a crime scene.